But let me ask you this. When it comes to wrestling, and, and look, I, I, I don't like to throw the whole goat out there because, you know, whether it's John Jones, whether it's Izzy or whatever, but when it comes to, to the wrestling sense, do you feel that Khabib's the greatest to ever do it? Yeah. Yeah? And, and, yeah. and, and why do you, why, what sets him apart from the rest of them? Um, so George St. Pierre did a great job with timing and he got a lot of clean takedowns, but he didn't force the wrestling game all the time. Um, but the difference I think between the results that George saw, I mean, he got a lot of takedowns on a lot of wrestlers that were supposedly better than him. Um, but he didn't have the ground control and I wouldn't say it was a jujitsu thing that could be beat him on or, or whatnot. Like Khabib wasn't passing guard better than um, George St. Pierre. George St. Pierre had a really awesome system from Danaher and he used it really well. And then when he changed off to his second system, you know, that was very solid as well. So his A and his B pathway to pass guard were both very good, but Khabib rarely got into guard. So he completed his takedowns and landed half guard side control. I think, and I think stats, if we watched and, and took score, would back that up a very high percentage of the time, especially compared to other athletes. So to be able to do that um, changes the whole game for you. Like you're under constant threat of getting taken down, but once you hit the mat, you're not even in guard. You can't even use your hands to defend yourself. Half the time he's got you wrapped and pinned, or he's got you wrapped and pinned, or he's got both legs together. You know what I mean? Like, you know, all you're trying to do is push on his knees. And um, it's it was just a different different awareness. I wouldn't I wouldn't even say he was physically better. I, I think he just built a better game. And I think I mean DC always mentions it that he, he's good at chaining things together as well. So he's a good wrestler, but apparently uh, I'm assuming that just means transition, but like DC well, always talks about chain it's wrestling. Like, when you run into resistance as a wrestler, you have a couple choices, you know, and, and the two simplest ones are, are to try to run through that brick wall and the other is to try to find your way over or around it, you know, to, to bypass it. And a lot of guys run through the brick wall too hard and they end up getting their, their whole attempt shut down because that, that becomes the, the first and only move they try. If you stop Khabib's double, he's going to change it to a single and then maybe back to a double and maybe to a body lock and then and then and then and then. He doesn't stop wrestling even when he takes you down. He continues wrestling. Some people take someone down and then they kind of lay for a minute and just expect like a jiu-jitsu position to happen for them without micro movement where Khabib sort of never stopped. Like he'd have his shoulder in your guts and he'd have you pass through and he'd have the legs but you could always see his feet moving and walking and trying to stack your legs and trying to keep your feet off the ground so you couldn't hip escape or stand, looking for an arm to trap, trying to climb the body. You know, it was just never, it was never just this, I've got the takedown, my job's done. You know, so it was, it was just constant millimeter by millimeter movement to his end game all the time. 